Do you see the milk glass? I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle. And milk glass is one of those things that will just draw me across the room. I spotted this out of the corner of my eye as I was walking by, and then I had to kind of wait and dawdle so that people would get finished looking at they were looking at so that I could go down to the end of the aisle and take a look at it myself. I started to say, get out of my way, but no, they have all as much or more right to be looking at the stuff in this aisle as I do. And thrifting these days requires patience. If we're going to keep a reasonable distance between ourselves and other people, which we should, that means we have to wait our turn. I cannot believe how much milk glass there was here. This was my favorite piece. I really like those sharp diamonds. I know there's a name for it. I don't know what the name for it is. And I wanted to bring it home, but I didn't because I can't bring it all home. There was just so much of it. And the aisle perpendicular to this one probably had eight or 10 bases. This guy was my favorite thrifting find of the day. He is so fabulously, ridiculously strange. His swimming costume, his mustache, the expression on his face, everything about him makes me smile. And I didn't buy him because I didn't know where I would put him. And now I... And regretting that decision, he's in a store about 50 miles from home in a direction which I won't be going for a while, so I can't go back for him. I remember when these carved wooden sea captains got popular back in the mid-80s, and I don't know why I wanted one, but I wanted one. And at the time, I didn't have the money to buy one because I was a kid, and Lately, I am seeing a lot of them, so I may or may not wind up with one of those in my life. Tell me I don't need this phone on my kitchen wall. It is fabulous, but I'm talking myself into getting rid of the landline, so no on that. Love these vintage cruel. I, the whole what is it? Quiet down cobwebs, dust go to sleep. I'm rocking my baby and babies don't keep. I did check the back for inscriptions. There were not any. And I carefully hung them back up on the wall because when we pick things up in the thrift store, we really should put them back where we found them, right? This video seems to be turning into a list of thrift store rules. I really didn't intend that. We're coming up on another list of rules here. As many years as I've been homeschooling, I've managed to avoid homeschooling rules. These actually aren't bad at all, and if we weren't so close to the end of our homeschooling journey, I might have thought twice about bringing those home and putting them on our wall. Some perfectly nice quilts here. I've been seeing a lot of quilts over the past year or so, and I don't know if it's because I am looking at them more closely as I film these videos, or if there are more of them out there, I hope they have served their purpose. I was really tempted by the scrapbooking paper. I have ideas for that. I was also keeping myself on a tight budget and I told myself that I would go back next week and see if they were still there and if they'd been marked down. Well, it's now next week and the roads are icy and I'm not going anywhere, let alone to the thrift store to look for marked down scrapbook paper. I have better judgment than that, but I mean, this is the same store where I went back. What was it? Four times in three weeks looking at that cross stitch at all house. So there's a chance they might still be there. And I also told my sister I'd go back and see if they still have any of those teacups that I bought her for Christmas because there was a huge set and I only bought a few. So 
cross your fingers for me if you are so inclined. I would appreciate it. And if they're not there, that's fine because the world is full of scrapbooking paper. Maybe not full of scrapbooking paper with vintage Wizard of Oz prints, but it'll be okay. Take a look at the needlepoint yarn. I told myself I don't need needlepoint yarn, and a couple of shops later we're going to find a reason maybe I should have bought that. I looked at this bag a lot and the colors they were close enough to coordinating that I almost thought they'd make a great baby quilt but they were it wasn't quite coordinated enough to convince me if there had been more variety in there that would have been the secret and they had a skein of wool lights which I have worked with before I love it a dollar isn't super duper cheap for that. I buy it new on sale for $1.99 or have in years past, but it came home with me. And I really worked hard to talk myself out of that gray fabric in case you can't tell by the fact that I've now picked it up twice. In hindsight, I'm glad I didn't buy it. These were at a different thrift store and the graphics, the vintage, I love these owls. They were $4 each. I have no idea what vintage pre-printed rug backing sell for. I'm sure that they were worth $4 each, but first of all, I don't know how to use them. Second of all, I would have to buy the yarn. I came up with a lot of reasons to tell myself why I couldn't have the owls and the covered bridge and the wishing well, which are like my absolute favorite subject matter. If I make it back to that end of that town, I will check to see if maybe they got marked down, but if they don't, I won't feel bad about it. It's a good thing the boys weren't with me. They want an accordion. I don't know how to tell if an accordion is functional or not, and that's going to be my excuse for not buying them one. It looks like somebody loved this and played lots of music on it. They also would have liked the Advanced Dungeons & Dragons manual. They might have talked me into that. I apologize for the vertical video for these last few seconds, but I needed to show you how many vases there were on the aisle leading up to the stuff I started the video with. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle. Let me know if you saw something here that you would have brought home. I'll be back with more videos soon. I'm looking forward to getting back to thrifting.